walk with me I want Jesus to walk with me All along a pilgrim journey Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me Welcome to Word and Song, a podcast by Pastor Don Holt Lauber. Reflections from Scripture on the love, compassion, and mercy of Christ, followed by a musical response. This is Word and Song. Hello, I'm Pastor Dawn. Thanks for tuning in today. We are in Psalm 33. I'm reading verses 10 through 22. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all humankind. From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth, he who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for victory, and by its great might it cannot save. Truly, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in God's holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Psalm 33 is a meditation on God's creative work. By his word, we read, God established the heavens and the earth. Order in the creation of the world reflects the sovereignty of God. God is sovereign over all. God is in control. In the many seasons of life that can bring us great uncertainty, Remembering that God's sovereign majesty reigns over all the world and over our individual lives should bring us comfort and rest and peace. We may not have all the answers. We may not know what the next day will bring us. But we can trust in the unfailing love, guidance, and presence of our God that never changes. That is never uncertain. From a focus on God's work in creation, Psalm 33 then moves to God's work among his people. God's favor rests on his people who fear him and whose hope is in his steadfast love. We celebrate that we are people of God's gracious covenant. We are people of God's glorious kingdom. Because we can trust in God's everlasting love and his sovereignty over all creation, over all the nations, we can rest assured. We need not be afraid or anxious. Rather, we can exhibit what is called fear in the Lord. Fear in the Lord is an expression of dependency and trust and obedience, waiting for God's guidance and direction. To have fear in the Lord is not to be afraid of God or to run away from God, but to run towards God and to depend deeply on God. To fear the Lord is to obey and trust the Lord. No matter what our circumstances, no matter in what age we live, each generation bears witness to God's acts of love and mercy. Psalm 33 is a renewed call to our covenantal commitment to God. 
We affirm our loyalty and trust in God, who has made the heavens and the earth, who has called us his people, and who promises to be our help and shield, our refuge in times of trouble and uncertainty, in times of anxiety. This assurance is for the whole world, and it is for us individually. We close Psalm 33 looking expectantly to the Lord and the plans he has for his kingdom, his people, and the renewal of the earth. We end with a petition to God to refresh us with his unfailing love. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise your holy name. We praise you for the steadfast love that you have lavished on us. Let us sing your praises all the days of our lives. We look to you for our salvation. We look to you in hope, for you alone are holy. You alone are trustworthy. You alone are worthy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As the deer for running streams, so I do long in all my dreams for you, my Lord, my love, my life, for you, my Lord, my love, my Thanks for joining me at Word and Song. May you know God's peace and presence today. Oh, oh, oh.